the danger of blindly adding to your losing trades. Uh, very good evening to you traders. This is Mark. Welcome to your daily trading video. I want to talk about risk management and very specifically about one focused area of risk management. It's very broad, but this is very focused. Never add to your losing trades blindly. You know, I know traders who do this, the trade goes against them, they add a bit, they add a bit, they add a bit. And you know what? The yen is a perfect example of why not to. Let's look at this. Okay, let's say, for example, you were going short here. We talked about this a couple of videos ago. I said, you know, technically, this is the perfect technical trade to buy this breakout, but I'm not interested in it. We were here at the time. Uh, I'm not interested in it. I'd rather take a short if we undid it all at some point. But un unlikely, but that's my preferred thing rather than buy the breakout. Obviously, hindsight now, I'm thinking that would have been a very nice trade to take. But what I want to talk about is just a risk management aspect of taking either of those trades. So let's say, for example, we push up to this trend line that we've had for a long time now. And every time we've tagged it, it's been a lovely short. You would have been quite within your rights and quite a sensible strategy to take it again when we bounced up and tagged it here. You know, you could see why you've taken it. It's done it plenty of times. The risk rewards there for you to break through the 100. It makes perfect sense. But how do you manage your risk on that? What you do not do is take it with no risk management strategy in place. You've got to have an exit in mind. Now, a lot of people are going to say, listen, when trade goes against me, I can add to it. It's fine. It comes back in my favor. Um, I'll just scale in. I'll start small. I'll scale in and then I'll be able to get a little unwinding to scale out. Let's just look at exactly what's happened with the yen. Okay, so your short is going to be there at 101.63, so 101.70. Let's give yourself a benefit of the doubt. Shot straight up to 102.40. Quick move. This is where you're going to be stopped out. If you're day trading it, that's it. You're out of the game, done. Reassess if it then comes back under your thing. If it's a, just if it happens to be a wick on a daily and ends up closing down here, then perfect. It doesn't matter. You've got a level to work off. You can reassess it, look for another short the next day. You know, if you're day trading this, I'm just talking about from a day trader's perspective. But what you don't do is you don't say, okay, well, I'm going to add to this position now. Because look how how the maximum pullback we've had from the highs. You're looking here at 102.40ish, 102.37, and we've gone down to 102.05. So you're talking about 35 point, 30 to 35 point pullback max, max. So even if you've got the very, very top of that, the likelihood is you're not going to be able to undo the damage when well, a lot of people will be trading short here then adding to that thinking i'll get out break even that's not enough so what happens is it drifts higher and higher and higher adding to the short maybe add at the 10250 level there's no pullback here if you look again it goes to 103 the pullback is nothing it's like 30 30 points it's just absolutely nothing and then again pushing up pushing up we just do not have a pullback of more than 30, 40 points. So what am I trying to say? The point of this is if you're adding blindly without managing your risk, without a stop and thinking, well, every time it pushes to new highs, I'm going to add some. You are now in an absolutely awful position because you've got a huge size with something that is just squeezing up low volume and you don't know where it's going to stop. You're adding and adding and adding. You've got a position that you never intended to do. Your initial trade was based on the thesis of that failing and rolling over. That was wrong at here. Okay, that's the end of that trade from that point. You're wrong. You reassess it. You come back to live another day. What you don't do is you add and add and add. Now, I'm mentioning this because I know people that do this. And they get away with it because you do get rotational markets, especially if you look at the indices at the moment. You know, it pushes up, they add a little bit more, they get that rotation down, they can take it off, they can make a few quid, they can move on. Pushes up, maybe a little bit higher, panic in a little bit, they've added three times, but then you get like a flush lower. It's just a bad habit. And, a, and the yen here is a perfect example of why risk management has to be based around an exit strategy if you're wrong. Fixed stops, fine. Mental stops, fine. Whoops, let's reload that. Mental stops fine as long as you can stick to them, but ultimately knowing when the trade has gone against you, when you are going to come out of the position, because in the long run, that will keep you in the game. Anyway, I hope you had a great trading day today, guys. Lots of stuff going on. Twitter's gap down on the news that Google aren't going to make a bid. US dollar yen's powering ahead. Cable's at the lows, and the Dow uh, is up and down all over the place. So plenty of good stuff going on for everybody, and I hope you had a great trading day. Be back with another video tomorrow. Take care.